Between World War I and World War II, anti-Semitism was growing more and more every day as Adolf Hitler was gaining more and more power. Hitler wanted all of the non-Aryan people out of Germany, especially the Jewish people. The Nuremberg Laws were meant to regulate the problems of marriage between Aryans and non-Aryans. Hitler ordered the Nuremberg Laws to be created on September 13, 1935. On September 15, 1935, the Nuremberg Laws were put into place. They revoked the Reich's citizenship for Jewish people. They also prohibited Jewish people from marrying or having sexual relations with non-Jewish people, which is called racial infamy and is a criminal offense. Someone was considered a Jew even if they only had one Jewish grandparent. Roman Catholic priests, nuns, or Protestant ministers were considered Jewish if their grandparents were Jewish. People who were one-half, one-quarter, or even one-eighth Jewish were considered full Jews. Some people thought that partial Jews were even more dangerous than full Jews because their mix of Jewish and German blood would enable them to lead state's enemies with Aryan skills. The Nuremberg Laws extended to other groups on November 14, 1935. The first supplemental decree of the Nuremberg Laws extends to prohibiting marriage or sexual relations between people who could produce racial suspect offspring. A week after November 14, 1935, gypsies, blacks, and their offspring were considered not German. Other prohibitions stated in the Nuremberg Laws were depriving Jewish people of German citizenship, Jewish households from having any maids under the age of 45, having non-Jews or Germans from marrying or having sexual relations with a Jewish person. If these laws weren't getting rid of the Jewish people, Hitler would make even more restrictions. Hitler believed he was the sole authority on racial policy, so he had the final say about what the laws stated. He claimed during a Reichstag session that the Nuremberg Laws would help Jewish population by creating a level ground on which the German people may find a tolerable relation with the Jewish people. On November 7, 1938, 17-year-old Polish Jew Herschel Grinspan shot German diplomat Ernest von Rath outside the German embassy in Paris, France. His motivation was that he wanted revenge for his parents' sudden deportation from Germany. Using this as an excuse, Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels ordered stormtroopers to perform spontaneous demonstrations. Kristallnacht was initiated by the Nazi leadership to encourage the Jews to leave Germany and Austria. The stormtroopers were given permission to destroy Jewish homes and businesses. While the chaos was going on, local police officers just stood by and watched. Firefighters were present watching the synagogues burn, but they only acted if non-Jewish property was being destroyed. November 9th was the start of the Campaign of Terror, continuing into November 10th. The windows of Jewish-owned establishments were smashed in and their insides looted. Jewish buildings and synagogues were burned. Hundreds of synagogues, houses, schools, and graveyards were vandalized. Firemen and police officers were told not to interfere unless Aryan-owned properties were burned. Even people who were born Jewish but had converted to Catholicism were sought after. Approximately 100 Jews died, and about 30,000 Jewish men were arrested and taken to the Dachau, Buchenwald, and Sachsenhausen concentration camps in Germany. The government arrested wealthy Jews and took their money to pay for the poor Jews to be transported to concentration camps. The spontaneous uprising of the citizens was later called Kristallnacht, which was translated to Night of Broken Glass. This was because all the glass from windows of Jewish properties was in the street. At the time, Germany imported all of their glass. It took a Belgian company a total of six months to produce enough glass to replace it. The Nazis blamed the Jews for everything. The Jews were fined 1 billion marks, or $400 in 1938, for von Rath's death. The government seized Jewish property and kept insurance money that was owed to the Jews. Over 100,000 Jews fled from Germany, although some could not because of limitations on the number of immigrants. The international communities were outraged by the event, causing some international diplomatic relations with Germany to be broken off. The Nazis suffered no serious consequences. The Nuremberg Laws in 1935 had laid the foundation of racial policy for the next 10 years. Hitler was motivated to get rid of the Jews at any cost. Kristallnacht was a tragic event in history that created terror in the eyes of the Jewish people. 